κάκι σου παλιό και πίσω απ' τη θα πάνω Romeo's first experience with Greek food, and that was, it was good, it was funny. I thought it was very good. Gerecho's fish tub. Yeah, that was Noah, that he was going to find somewhere off the beaten track, and he did. They weren't even open. It was just this little place, not open at all, that he saw a little old lady sitting in this <laughs> empty, closed restaurant and said, you open? And she came out and said something in Greek. And I think, yeah, like later, later. So he said, yeah, we can sit down. And we sat down. <laughs> it was, and then she um, called in the reinforcements. She called in, I think it was her, her son. son. Mm -hmm. And but we sat there for about an hour before, mm -hmm. and he, it was fine. And we, and we didn't there. order anything. We didn't order anything. They just and, they and just started bringing us food. They just and when when her son arrived, he said, "You waited for me." And we're like, <laughs> "Yeah." <laughs> Romeo's was so good. Greco's was better. Their taramasalata. And that was. was great. Probably our major fish meal of the yeah. trip. Fish was expensive in Greece, and it was expensive, but it was really good. And, you know, she, the woman who ran the restaurant, she started the little charcoal briquettes After in, in the kitchen for us, and then cooked them. And he brought us back to show us the fish, mm -hmm. and yeah. said, come look what I'm making for you. Does it look good? And showed us the fish. Yeah. said or Brandon had said we're going we will dock every night and and eat out every night so we won't need so I was thinking oh we won't need a lot of dinners but then we did need a lot of lunch or mitak essen or just things kind of flexible food you know that could be either one and then we ended up deciding that we weren't going to go out oh, we ate a lot on the boat. we ate a lot of more on the boat than I had thought originally was, you know, what was the plan. So before we got on the boat in, in Guvia, we went to two supermarkets, supermarkets yeah. stocked up on a lot of food. In Laka, we bought two more loaves of bread, maybe some yeah. fruit or something in Laka. Mm -hmm. Suzanne did most of the cooking on the boat. I don't know what I would say. The boat, the boat was very easy to cook on. I mean, you yeah. did frittatas two times. They were the end. Mushrooms, that was the, the end. One with, one with all of our spinach food. and um, Greek salad. The Greek salad oh, yeah. every day. Yeah, a lot of Greek salad. Um, Couscous. What's it called? Oh, we had a with white fish. fish. We had a white fish. Tabbouleh. Uh, Tabbouleh. Mm -hmm. Smoked fish. Oh, and then you had all the peas. So just a lot of fresh stuff. We had bought some of that, tatsuki, we had a big thing of that, and we had pita, and we had bread, and we had cheese, and we had salami, and lentils one day. Yeah. Villa Cristina, we grilled chicken and vegetables in that wonderful outdoor barbecue. Oh,
καλό για εσένα εγώ Μου το σκοτώσε σου λέω σε ένα λεπτό Ήταν η στιγμή που σε είδα εκεί Να έχεις μες στην αγκαλιά σου κάποια άλλη εσύ Να τη χαιρέσαι την καινούρια σου αγάπη να τη χαιρέσαι και να με κέρνας παραμάκι να τη χαιρέσαι όμως μακριά από μένα γιατί αγάπη μου στα έχω ξανά υπομένα από τη σεβδό It seemed like a lot of the restaurants were family run, yeah. like, like the one in Laka, uh, the one that we ate at two nights in Naflion was also family, I didn't know that until I went to pay the second night, but the waiter, uh, his wife was the, the chef and oh really that yeah was when wife? I when I oh. went in to pay oh. I said uh, huh. mostimo and he said my wife and the hotel in Meteora was you know was a family operation mm -hmm. and when we were coming back on the airplane the uh, the young Greek guy that I sat next to told me that 46% um, of Greeks are unemployed and so a family business is a great thing because everybody in the family can help out. They can live there, you know, in the business if it's in their house. Our hotel in Gubia, the same thing. That was all yeah. family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the places we ate, we ate outside. People are walking by and you know, just a fun, pleasant atmosphere. It's summertime, you want to be outside, you're sitting and eating and yet you're outdoors and you probably have a grapevine over top of your head so the sun's not burning, beating down on you. We ate at Alexandros for dinner. Yeah, we talked to a guy who was there on vacation from Athens who recommended Alexandros to Myrna to us. We could have been in any one of the packed tourist places, but because we got into that conversation right. with the, the guy that was renting a place that was Greek, that we, that we were recommended mm -hmm. to Alexandros, and Alexandros, his place, it was his son and his granddaughter serving mm -hmm. us, and he came out and talked to us and it was, that was really, yeah, was and we would have never found that otherwise and we would have never gone there because it really was mobbed. We got the last table. We ate there, yeah. really good food. The lamb in the awesome. oven. The proprietor, Alexandros, came out of the kitchen and Suzanne asked him for the recipe for the lamb, Saliga. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then, and then, how long? Uh, how long? Uh, maybe 24 hours. <laughs> no, I believe you. For, at what temperature? One minute. One minute. The pepper is yeah, yeah, salt, yeah? The salt. Salt. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, about the full of 200. Uh, one and a half hour. One and a half hour. Four hours. Hour, 20 minutes. One hour, yeah. Okay. Okay, baby, you need to have your baby 20 hours. I'm going to do it there. Okay? Yes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. No. No. Well, you know, it's, it's just what kind of meat? How much garlic? How much garlic? How long? We just walked to get away we from on the, the road. tourist area. We, walked, we just wanted to get away. And then the away. road was so crazy with the cars parked, and we came back down. Yeah, and then the there was a restaurant that was recommended, but it was a hotel. It was very shishi and yeah, it looked Frank like mostly the tourists on that. Yeah, and then we found that rooftop restaurant, which was really nice. Pani mm -hmm. Taverna with the male waiter. It was very nice.
And it gave us the ouzo. That was nice. That was that waiter was really cute. In Nafleon, Noah again. We wandered around the town. You you didn't come with us the first night. No, uh, I went to bed. You were tired or something, but we wandered around the town for a long time. And Noah was looking at a lot of different restaurants, and he finally picked this one. And it was a great pick. Um, it was a very small place, about four tables on the street. Um, there were other people there eating. We sat down. The guy brought the menu to us, and there were a lot of things on the menu that we didn't know what they were. And I asked him, and he told us what they were. It wasn't a great explanation in some cases, but um, I think we ate pretty much everything we ate was stuff that we didn't know what it was until he explained it to us, and it was all unusual stuff. By that time. Uh, we had eaten all the typical Greek stuff, you know, moussaka and uh, pastizio and uh, gyro and teramasulata and dolmades and Greek olives and feta day, and Greek salad, salad and all those day. things. So then we had all these other things. I wish I could remember what they all were, but they were all... They were re more regional specialties. Yeah, yeah. There was the, the ham that was... Oh, we yeah. We both had that with yeah. the oranges yeah. and... And uh, and that and that was that we was had really the fava good. there the first mm -hmm. time, and the then we had the fava again, I guess, in Athens. And the next night in Nafleon, we were looking for a restaurant. I thought it would be nice to eat on the square, in the middle of the town, because there were so many restaurants and it was just a nice atmosphere, just this open square and so many people and everything. And we went around and looked at the menus and everything just seemed like they were, you know, they had a few Greek things, but it seemed like they were trying to appeal to the tourists, you know, they'd, they'd have Greek salad, but then they'd have chicken nuggets. And, and, you know, as soon as I saw that, I said, nah, we're not eating here. And, and we, we walked around, looked at menus on a lot of, a lot of restaurants and we ended up back at the same place and the second night, we had more things that we hadn't had the first night. And I hadn't been. Uh, Brand, we had Brandon been there with you the first. Yeah, he was there as well. I hadn't been. Yeah. And the table the Germans, next to you, the Germans, the Germans, they were there again. They said they, they had been before. there. I guess they said that was their regular, their stomptish, you know, their regular, because uh, they had been staying there for several days. So oh, it was the best, best restaurant. <laughs> in Athens. The hotel owner had said you have to go to the Monastraki. The, the street market and it was just like this huge tourist whatever <laughs> that we ended up going to Brandon's friend's restaurant and I, I thought it was very very good and different, very different. Mm -hmm. And um, that was our gourmet and I'm, I'm glad we did that. Just a message, man. 